Hey guys, it's Jody. Today's video, I want to try again where I am doing the swipe and then a transfer swipe. <laughs> the last video that I did, I wanted to do that, but it just ended up, I went with the, the what, what the paint told me to do and I just did a lot of different palette knife swipes on that one. So this one, I actually want to try what I had in mind for the last video, which was doing kind of a, either a swipe or a palette knife swipe and then putting some ribbons in it as well. So Let's go get started having some fun with that. All right, for this piece, I have got a 12 by 16 level two canvas that I get at Michael's. And uh, like I said earlier in the beginning of the video, I want to do kind of like, you know, the swipe that we did, but I wanna add some ribbons in as well. And I think I'm gonna go this way this time. So I'm gonna run through the colors again really quickly. You're gonna recognize them the cell activator and the pillow and we will get started painting. So the first color I have, I've got two pigments mixed together, Lakeside and Mermaid, they are super similar. But anyway, there's those two. And this is how it mixed up. These are all mixed with my Valspar regular Varathane uh, pore medium mix. And here's what that one looks like. And then I've got the Atelier Free free flow in the red gold and I, I just mixed up a fresh batch of this so it is nice and full and then the Josonia dioxazine purple and I do I do have another container that I just mixed because I didn't have a lot of this left and I hate running out in the middle <laughs> So I've got extra and it's pretty much the same consistency. So those are our three colors that we're going to use. My all-time favorite color combo and the cell activator is the Amsterdam Oxide Black mixed with Australian Floetrol. Four to one, four parts of the Australian Floetrol to one part of the Amsterdam Oxide Black. And my pillow is going to be Glidden Premium in Satin. I've got just a little bit in this container, but I do have another full container right next to me in case I need it. Yeah, I'm just about done with this one. I might need to get the other one out just to add a little bit more. This, I've not done a 12 by 16 actually. <laughs> I kind of went up from 11 by 14 to 16 by 20. All right. Yeah, just a little bit more for my other container. That should be good. All right, I'm going to spread this out really quick and I'll be right back. All right, I think what I'm going to do, I am going to lay down the colors actually on here in the, the, the palette knife. I'm just going to put my cell activator on. We're going to try it a little bit different than last time. So I'm just going to load it up here. That was the red gold, the Atelier. This is the, the mermaid lakeside combo. This little piggies put together. And then the dioxazine purple. All right, I'm gonna use this palette knife. I'm gonna uh, load it up with the cell activator and we'll go from there, like so. And I'm not gonna do any kind of pattern to it. I just kind of want That looks pretty dang cool. I think I might swipe something a little bit there, but I love this, how it's both pillow and color coming down this way. That worked out pretty well. I kind of like everything that's happening here. I'm just, this will probably get shoved off anyways, but I, what I want to do now is kind of incorporate some ribbons in this area and in this, in this area. Got 
my pillow. And I'm just gonna, it's gonna be all the same colors. It's so, the first time I did the, the transfer swipe, I kind of had uh, the background color and then different uh, color for ribbons. But this, I'm gonna do it all the same just to see what happens. Same tool I'm going to load up like so and I'm just going to here's that I'm going to do it off to the side in case there's anything underneath just to I don't want it to drip onto this canvas. to it. I might have to work on some of this a little bit. I've gotten more. See, <laughs> the goal is to keep your cells when you transfer, but I kind of like the striation of the, just the ribbons themselves too, but I did keep some cells there. I'm going to make another, another ribbon swipe over here on my wood board. And then we're going to do the other side. I can clean that up. All right. I've got some cells in here I'd like to hopefully keep. I actually am digging that. I feel like I want to, I'm going to redo this right here. All right, let's give this a go. The one thing I still have to learn is, okay, I'm at the end. Now I'm <laughs> quickly going that way. 
but I do like how all the movement is. All right. That is one thing I have to work on. All right, let's see here. I'm gonna do something right here, actually. I've got some really cool cells right here on my board. I wanna pass them over here. There we go. Those are so cool. It's just kind of like that that way. A lot of paint on here but that's okay I'd rather have too much than not enough I can take paint off I can't add it as well all right I kind of I am kind of digging all of this now I want to kind of tie it together a little bit better okay with everything else. I think we're just about there. I think I'm good. It's pretty crazy awesome if, if you ask me. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not even going to do anything with this because a lot of this along the edges is going to come off. I was kind of focusing more what's in right in here. And I might have to move stuff around again. But I am going to meet you over at the spinner box and we're going to see what comes of this. All right, here is what this looks like. I think I'm just going to start spinning it. I mean, it's already starting to come off around the edges, which is just fine. I want to make sure I can clear. Do that and move, move it around a little, see what I want to keep. I knew I wasn't going to be able to keep half of it, but this, I love, just love the colors and I really want to keep this up here. <clears throat> Wow. Yeah, I still got movement. I kind of want to go ooh, this way a little. Take some down off of here and then bring it back. This is unlike anything I could have imagined. I still definitely have to work on my ribbon laying down. I know I have to go slower. Uh, that was a tip from one of my, my, my artist friends and subscribers. It's easier said than done. That is for certain. But I do love the look that these ribbons give. And I love this swipe that's running through the middle. Still got movement, but I'm I'm weighing the risks to see if I because I don't really want to take any more off if I can help it. I think I might do 
just one more little just to yeah bring this down we're just about there I just love I love I love everything about this the movement it's definitely you're not getting all like the rainbow effect we took off a, we had a lot of paint on here we had a lot of paint on here and I actually got some green right up here which is really neat but I'm just loving all the effects that these ribbons are are having all right I like it. I think I like it that way. This is definitely a winner winner chicken day dinner. This this was a labor of love. Oh, there's what that one looks like. I'm gonna get cleaned up and I will bring you over for the flyover of this guy. All right, here's the flyover of this guy. And I just love how, you know, with the bright colors that we had, it totally uh did the opposite. It's it's kind of muted and it kind of made some greens and some really pretty rust orange i love this right here those cells are just ugh. and this is probably my favorite ribbon like right in here i love the way the colors just blend but i am so over the moon over this piece i love these cells this is all from the swipe i love utilizing the swipe and then the ribbons but i have to work on how much paint i use i used way too much paint as you saw but just moving it around and stretching it out kind of gave this a really soft, subdued vibe. It almost reminds me of the desert a little bit. I mean, just, I love the movement of this piece. It is just so cool. I'm so excited to see how this dries. So I will be back once, it dry, once it's dried to show you the dried results. And I'm back to show you the piece we did. And yay, <laughs> I was able to do both the swipe and the... Uh, the ribbon, the ribbon transfer swipe as well in there. Although I, I used a lot of paint. I, I was just having so much fun putting the ribbons down. And then I realized, oh, Jody, you have so much paint on here. I, I hope I can get enough off and still have a good composition and it dries nice. And so luckily it just dried like a dream. It dried beautifully. And we, we lost a lot of the vibrant color that was there, but what, what was left, I mean, it's so soft and it just, it reminds me of just kind of like desert canyons almost. It's just, it's, it's really cool. It's, I'm, <laughs> I'm looking at it. Whoops. <laughs> I've got a new place where I'm trying to film and I'm, you'll see how I have the painting propped up since I'm going bigger and bigger. It's just easier than me actually holding it here and showing you. So, um, let me, let me turn the camera around and I will show you what it looks like dry. All right, here it is as a whole before I bring you close up, but I kind of have it propped up on an easel now, but it's just, I mean, just the flow, the flow of this over here and then what was happening with the ribbons and then these cells in the middle, I just love. So let me bring you closer so you can get, and there is subtle shimmers throughout, which is just, I just love the striation of colors and how it just kind of peeks through from the white. Sorry, my heat, I forgot to turn my heat off. <laughs> it just kicked on. <clears throat> I love these cells right here. This was from the actual, the palette knife swipe that we did. And then this here was another ribbon. And I just, it reminds me of those, you know, those desert canyons you see with the way the color is just blending like that. And I love this coming over. I mean, there isn't anything I don't love about this piece at all. I mean, it's just oh, those cute little cells, those bubblish. They're, they're bub they're, when I say bubblish cells, this is what I'm talking about right here. <laughs> so that, I mean, it was that just gorgeous. I mean, it dried just beautifully. Let me turn you back around and I'll give you my final thoughts. I really love how this piece came out. That was just so much fun to do. And I, I keep I keep glancing over it because I'm just like, oh, I might have to keep you for myself. <laughs> but I actually, I love working with both the swipes and the transfer swipes. So I'll definitely be trying more of that, but uh, trying to use the less paint next, next time. <laughs> the next uh, video or the next couple of videos, I've got so much paint 
in this studio that's been sitting around and it needs to get used up. Uh, if you know me, I don't like wasting anything. So if I can use it, I'd rather use it than throw it away. So I've got some ideas of some fun paintings that are a little, you know, away from the, uh, you know, what, what I'm normally doing with swipes or blooms, uh, something just, I, I just want to have fun with and try. So that's what I'm, that's, that's what I'm thinking for the next video or maybe the next couple of videos. So let me know what you think in the comments below, what you thought of this piece and, uh, the, the swipes, the transfer swipes, all that good stuff. It's, it's so much fun. Have you tried it? Let me know if you've tried it as well. I'd love to hear everything you have to say about it. So with that, Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.